Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over how to automate wheat farming using Botania. So we're going to place down a dirt or a bucket of water inside the dirt here. You're going to turn this into farmland in the center, and then go four blocks out both ways. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, we're going to want to put down our dispensers like this. We also want one in the center, so you got to shift click it above the water. Uh, from here, we're just going to come into the back place down a bunch of hoppers, make sure they're leading directly into the dispensers themselves. A couple building blocks, and then we're just going to run rail across the top of here. Same thing, a couple building blocks. We're going to skip this block and then do an L shape like so. And on the other side, we're going to do a Z type shape. So I guess that's a Z <laughs> or almost a Tetris block. But anyways, uh, once you do that, you're going to come across the uh, dispensers with these little uh, redstone repeaters, no delay or anything on that. They're good right off the bat. Uh, next step is to get the rail system going. So I like to come somewhere above the water with the uh, dirt block itself. So we're going to put down dirt. Then we're going to put down a hopper and then redstone. So the redstone powers the rails. This is going to fill the minecart hopper up. I can just let that run back and forth for now. On top of that, we're going to put a chest, a chest, and then a hopper hock in the center. From here, we want to put item frames on the front of the chests. Important to put the seed in front of the, or uh, above the hopper one, and then wheat on top of the redstone. That just makes sure that the uh, seeds here are being delivered into the minecart itself and being distributed throughout the uh, dispensers. From here, we want to go over to our... Uh, mana section of the uh, build here. So we want a pulse mana spreader placed right next to this dispenser. Next to that, we're going to put down an hourglass and then 10 minutes uh, of soul sand, which is 10 soul sand. And we'll get back to that in a second. Next, we want to place down a mana pole behind that. And then we'll come over to the other side, place down a mana detector here, a uh, drum of the wild in front of that, and then a mana pool behind there, and then also a regular mana spreader like that. On each mana spreader, you're going to want to put a Lens of the Phantom. That's going to allow the mana pulse to pass through uh, the Drum of the Wild, and it's going to allow this one to send the signal back to this uh, mana pool, which we do have to set that mana pool or uh, mana spreader to do that. So we're just going to shift, click on it, bring it on over here, click on that, and then that'll kind of turn the mana spreader directly into this and it's going to pass through this spreader and go into this mana pool. Next we do want to supply it with a little bit of mana. It doesn't take much to run this farm and since we're using a recovery method, just not allowing the method or the mana to disappear into the abyss, uh, you don't need much and it'll run for a really long time on uh, relatively small amounts of mana. So that's probably actually good enough right there. Also, I kind of like to have a manual button on it just in case I just want to uh, start the system on my own, you can do that. And uh, next, we want to test it out, make sure everything's working. Now, I will say that uh, right off the bat, this thing isn't going to fill every single dispenser, so sometimes I like to just fill them up myself first and then let this thing do its, uh, do its job as it goes. So just to show that this does work, we're going to manually plant a bunch of wheat here, Got to grab some bone meal. And before we actually do that, I wanted to show you something. So you can enhance this farm quite a bit if we just use some flowers. So the agricarnation, I did a video on this a while back, and what this does is increases uh, crop growth. It's basically free bone meal. After it's built, uh, it'll continuously bone meal the uh, crops around it, and it'll speed up the farm. And also, I'm not a big fan of these railroad sounds. So place down a bunch of burger mutes. It's going to cut off the sound and almost make it silent, but almost you can kind of hear it in the background a little bit. But if we fire this off manually, you can see it's shooting the mana across, hits the drum, harvests all the crops. And we forgot something. It's always good to test your stuff out, see how it goes. So we just need a little bit of redstone here. You don't really need it on the top, but for the replant process, uh, we did get our seeds up here, and the wheat, we had nine right there, but we do want it to replant, so it's going to detect the mana passing through into the pool, and as you can see, 
the uh, dispensers that did have seeds in them replanted here and our agrocarnations are already at work trying to uh, basically grow the wheat for you. Now I did say we were coming back to the hourglass. Depending on how many of these aggregation or agrocarnations you do have, depends on how fast the crops grow. So you are going to have to alter this a little bit. So, you know, if it's harvesting before anything's growing or uh, not fast enough, you're going to have to increase or decrease the amount of soul sand you have in here. And one soul sand equals one minute. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. But I will do or I will say that I am going to do another video that will probably come up a couple days after this one. And what it's going to be showing is how to replace the hopper minecart system with the uh, corporate crystal system. So this is basically like a lower tier wheat farm where once we get to corpia crystals, you can actually advance this farm a little bit to make it make its uh, seed distribution more efficient and a lot better. But that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.